hi guys and assalamu alaikum welcome to my new blog post blog post one for sql server series and in this blog post we are going to discuss about database management system uh, i'm not going to give you an overview about the database management system but we actually uh, first we need to learn about like why do we need actually database management systems so let's start so database management system or the dbms in short refers to the technology of storing and retrieving users data with utmost efficiency along with the appropriate uh, appropriate security measures so uh, in further uh, blogs i'm going to explain more about like what is uh, architecture data models data schemas and data independence entity relationship models relationship modeling relationship database designs and storage and file structures and much more so uh, when we talk about dbms traditionally data is actually uh, traditionally the data was organized in various file formats the dbms was a new com concept back then and all the research was done to make it overcome the deficiencies in traditional style of data management. So a modern DBMS has basically following characteristics. Uh, first characteristics is real world entity. Um, basically when we talk about real world entity, it means a modern DBMS is more realistic and uses real world entities to design its architecture. It uses the behavior and attributes too. For example, a school database or a canteen based database may use students as an entity and their age as an attribute. Uh, we will discuss further about this entity and attribute relation in future uh, blocks. Next comes the relation based tables. When we talk about relation-based tables, it means the BMS allows entities and relations among them to form tables. Uh, so user can understand the architecture of database just by looking at the table names and get the overview about the database. Next one is basically isolation of data and its applications. So when we talk about database system, um, the, the database system is actually entirely different than its data. A database is an active entity, whereas data is said to be passive on which the database works and organizes. DBMS also stores various kinds of metadata, which is data about the data to ease its own process. Then uh, there is a talk about less redundancy. DBMS follows the rules of very uh, normalization, first NF, second NF, three NF, uh, which sp uh, splits a relation when any of its attributes is it's having a redundancy in values. Uh, normalization is a mathematically rich and scientific process that reduces data redundancy. Last one uh, is consist consistency. Consistency is a state where every relation in a database remains consistent. Uh, so there exist methods and techniques which can detect attempt of leaving database in inconsistent state. Uh, database can provide greater consistency as compared to earlier form of data storing applications like file processing systems. And the last one is basically query language. So DBMS is equipped with query language, which makes it more efficient to retrieve and manipulate data. A user can apply as many and as different filtering option as required to re retrieve a data uh, set. Traditionally, it was not possible where file processing system was used. So this is where SQL comes in. Now we are going to learn more about something more about database management systems. So first you need to remember like database is basically a collection of related data and that data is a collection of facts and figures that can be processed to produce more information. Uh, 
So mostly data represents recordable facts and data aids in producing information which is based on facts. For example, if we have data about marks obtained by all students, we can then conclude about toppers and the average marks. This is a basic example that is coming out of database. So a database management system stores data in such a way that it becomes easier to retrieve, manipulate, and produce information. So there are some properties like first one is ACID properties. Data maze basically follows the concept of A stands for atomicity, to C stands for consistency, I stands for isolation, and D stands for durability. And normally this is shortened, uh, shortened as or abbreviation. It is the abbreviation of asset. So these concepts are applied on transactions which manipulate data in database. Asset properties help the database stay healthy in multi-transactional environments and in case of failure we will learn more about acid in detail in future blogs then uh, then there is multi-user and concurrent access when we talk about multi-user and the concurrent access database supports multi-user environment and allows them to access and manipulate data in parallel uh, though they are they are there are basically there are various restrictions on the transactions when user attempts to handle the same data item but users are always unaware of them so user also be given multiple views uh, so database dbms offers multiple views for different users a user who is in sales department will have a different view of database than a person working in a production in department this features enable the users to have a concrete value of the database according to their requirements this is something which is related to database administration last one is security features like uh, multiple views offer security to some extent uh, where users are unable to access data of, of other uh, users and departments. DBMS offers methods uh, methods to impose constraints while entering data into database and retrieving the same at a later stage. DBMS offers many different levels of security features, which enables multiple users to have different views with different features. For example, a user in sales department cannot see the data that belongs to purchase department. Additionally, it can be it can also be managed how much data of the sales department should be displayed in the users to the users. <sighs> Sorry. Since the DBMS is not saved on the disk as a traditional file system, it is very hard for um, miscreants to break, uh, to break the code. So uh, this is something uh, that why we need DBMS and what. So in next topic, I'm going to elaborate more about uh, what is actually database and we will, I will give you a brief overview about the database. and. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel, Yasir Fazal. And please do not forget to hit the bell icon so you just get the latest updates. And as always, please spread the knowledge. Thank you.